Today we have some great exercises for anyone managing peripheral neuropathy or diabetes. We'll start with our shoes off, and if you have a small and a large ball, get them ready. Join me next on Sit and Be Fit. Sit and Be Fit is a tone and stretch exercise program designed to strengthen muscles and improve joint flexibility. Not all exercises are suitable for everyone. Consult your doctor before beginning this exercise program. Our instructions and advice are in no way intended as a substitute for medical counseling. Sit and Be Fit is a creation of Mary Ann Wilson, registered nurse, teacher, and recognized leader in the field of fitness and healthy aging. Mary Ann consults with a team of medical and exercise specialists to bring you a fun and effective way to maintain functional fitness. The exercise program you are about to do is effective for any age, but it was specially designed for anyone needing slow, gentle movement. All you need is a chair that touches your back while your feet are flat on the floor. If your back doesn't touch, put a pillow behind for that necessary back support. If you have your exercise band and towel, put them on the back of your chair. Now, get ready to sit and be fit. Hi, I'm Mary Ann Wilson. I'm glad you're here today. We're going to use the small ball for our feet and the large ball should be right behind your back. As a matter of fact, this is great for reaction time, isn't it? You want to bend from your hip joint and put the ball right down here, right between your feet. And we'll start with good alignment and tapping that ball. All right, roll the ball from heel to toe and press as hard as feels good. And now roll it around your arch. Trap it and put it under the other foot. Now roll it around your arch. Trap it, put it right between your feet. It's down, up, side to side. Down and up, side to side. Still have that ball? Down, up, side to side. Now, just take that ball and roll it across your arch. And the other foot right across the arch. Now, take the ball and I want you to roll it just under the ball of the foot. And change under the ball of your foot and you can press as hard as you like. Now we're going to do inversion and eversion. Inversion and eversion. Okay, let's try your other foot. Inversion, eversion, inversion, and eversion. Okay, now put those toes right on top of that ball. You should see that ball peeking out at you. And roll it from your big toe to your little toe. One more time. And now I want you to grip that ball with your toes. And grip it again. One more time. Okay, let's try the other leg, other foot. Put your toes right on top of the ball and roll it from big toe to little toe. And let those toes spread as much as they can. And you can go a little bit slower too. All right, now grip that ball with your toes and release. Grip again, grip again. And lift the toes up and down. Okay, super. All right, now bend from your hip joint, get your ball, tuck it away under your hip here, and grab your towel. Now this is important. I want you to fold your towel in half, try to get it as thin as possible, and then I want you to twist it from both ends. Uh, you'll, in, you'll appreciate this twisted towel later on when we get down to our uh, toes scrunching it. All right, then you're going to put this towel under your foot, under the arch of the foot. Hands go up like this, 
and get into good alignment and we'll be starting. Here we go, it's down, up, down and up. Let those arms do the work. Okay, it's down and up. Now take it to the side. Down and up. Side. Down and up. To the side. And one more time. To the side. We'll change legs. Put the other foot right inside and it should be your arch. Ready? Down, up, down and up. Okay, down and up twice. And then out to the side twice. Down and up. Can you do two more sets? Down and up first and then out to the side. One more. Okay, now change your grip on your towel and extend your leg, pull back. Now pull the towel one way and pull it the other way. Do it again, pull and pull. Very good, let's change. Put the other foot inside and put the uh, towel across the arch. Give it a nice pull and then pull one way and pull the other way. And notice how your foot turns. Okay, now here's where you're going to appreciate that twisted towel. Put the balls of your feet right on top of it and press down on the balls of your feet. Press, press. Press. Now, you want to grip your toes, so put it under the toes. Grip and grip. Grip again. Nice, strong grip. One more. Okay, now those poor toes, they've really worked hard to strengthen. So I want you to put your heels on the floor Keep the towel under your toes. Give them a nice stretch. Pull the feet in. Stretch those toes up. And stretch. One more. Doesn't that feel great? And let them down. I think you have very happy feet. Good job. Okay, you can put this towel now right behind your back and we'll just move along with a nice warm up. It will start with a good alignment, of course. So you're right on top of those sits bones and that ball is really helping you stay in good alignment. Now, get that chin tucked back and shoulders back and down. We'll start with some quick head turns, just like you're saying no. Now, tuck that chin in, put the hand under those two bones, and lift up, and slowly turn to one side. Lead with your eyes, and then let's turn to the other side. You're going to lead with the eyes as you turn, then the shoulders and the hip. Good work. Now, this is a very subtle movement. We're going to be working on the back muscles. So. Elbows right here, right next to your body. Take a breath in. And I want you to retract the lower back muscles and the scapula. I want those muscles to be pulling your arms back. It's a very different feeling. And now you can squeeze them and take the arms out just a little bit. One more time, squeeze. Now, I want you to hold your chair with one arm, put one foot forward, and bend from that hip joint, that hip hinge, and reach, pull it back, and then do a bicep curl. Great. The other arm holds on, this foot's in front, and you're going to reach as far as you can. Try to keep your back nice and straight. And then a bicep curl. 
do it again. Foot forward, a reach, bend from the hip joint, pull, and a bicep curl. Squeeze that muscle. Other foot forward, and reach, pull, and a bicep curl. Now, you're going to have both hands on the chair. The heels are going to stay on the floor, and one foot's just gonna be a little bit forward, and you're going to rock forward on the heel, back on the toe, forward on the heel, and back on the toe. Now, I want the arms to do the pulling and stretching forward. One more on this side, and then let's change. Heel on the floor and the toe. Ready? You're going to lean forward, pressing on the heel, and then lifting. Heel, just like you're ready to get up out of the chair. Heel, let those arms pull you back, and you can feel a scapula working as well. We're going to do one more. Bring your feet together. This is what I call a cross shuffle. If you've ever taken tap dancing, you know it. there's a shuffle, but the foot usually goes forward and back. This time we're brushing the floor from side to side, and you notice what's happening. Inversion and eversion. Good work. Now it's time for your ball. So sit up tall, and I want you to hold the ball right here, right in front of your chest with your hands on either side. Take a breath in. Ah, let it go. All right, we're going to roll the ball from side to side. Are you ready? Can you feel this in your back? Right. Here we go with what I call a wrist twist. Fingers are spread out. You're going to twist the ball away from your body and slowly back. Sit up tall, forward and back. One more. All the movements coming from the wrist. Now take a deep breath in and I want you to press that ball, feel those muscles tightening but breathe. Good job. Now you're going to sway and then go up and around. Sway again. And up and around in this direction. Sway again. And up and around. Feel all those muscles in your back working hard. And up and around. Now place the ball right here on your lap. Extend your arms right in front of your shoulders and roll down and back. Roll and back. Now take that ball to the front of your shoulder. Every time that ball touches your shoulder, it reminds you to sit up taller. And now touch the top of the shoulder. Now, reach down, reach up, and down, and up to this side. Reach down, and up, down, and up. All right, place that ball right there on the floor. There you go. Check your posture, and we're going to do internal and external rotation. And trap it. Get control of that ball. Notice also what's happening with your hip joint. It's also rotating. Although I want you to con concentrate more on the ankle joint. Okay, grab that ball, throw it up.
And you did a super job. For information on the Sit and Be Fit Streaming Club or Sit and Be Fit Workouts, including resources for lymphatic health, neuropathy, improving balance and brain health, write Sit and Be Fit, P.O. Box 8033, Spokane, Washington, 99203. Or call toll-free at 1-888-678-9438. Or visit our website, sitandbefit.org.